So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable developers options on a Android emulator in Android Studio. You probably want to turn this on because uh, you want to turn on the don't keep activities option. So you can emulate if Android operating system kills your activity and you bring the same activity back, then it's supposed to persist uh, the previous activity it had uh, in somewhere like view model. Um, so if you take a look at the code, I have logged all the application lifecycle callbacks here. And um, on create, on start, on resume, on pause, on stop, on destroy. So the emulator that I'm using here is Pixel, but it doesn't have to be Pixel. You can pick any other devices. Uh, that's totally fine. Uh, but the SDK that I'm using is the um, latest one, I believe is Tiramisu, and it's uh, the version number is 33. So um, let me launch my application. And you can see my logcat is open here. And now my application has started. And you can see the the lifecycle callbacks here. And the application is in uh, resumed state right now. Um, if I go back to the home screen, then you can see it first call uh, calls on pause and on stop. And if I bring back the activity, it's, it, it returns to the uh, resume state. Uh, there is no uh, on destroy being called because um, Android operating system hasn't killed it yet. But if I kill this process, then it first destroy the, the activity and it kills the process. But with with a kill the process, you can't uh, really test the uh, application's state because the process is already killed. And if the only option to start the activity, bring the activity back, is to relaunch the application again. So in order to uh, simulate the scenario that the act uh, the activity being destroyed is to enable the um, developers options. Uh, of course, you can do, um, you know, kill the activity by like using the command line up, uh, you know, com commands. But, um, you know, this don't keep activity is much more convenient than that. So in order to turn on the developers option, first we have to go back to the home screen. Okay, once you're on the home screen, you want to swipe up. Okay, somehow it's not working properly. Okay, now um, in the menus, you want to select settings. And now we're in the settings screen. Let's scroll all the way back, uh, all the way down to the, the bottom. You can see the about emulated device here. Okay. You want to tap this. And in this menu, we're scrolling all the way to the bottom till the build number. Okay. You want to tap seven times in order to enable the development mode, a developer mode. Okay. Now it shows you are now a developer. Let's check the uh, developer mode is enabled. Let's uh, go to the system. Now you can see developer options here. Okay. So you go into the developer options. You can see the developer options is on. Now let's scroll back, uh, scroll down to apps. It's input drawings. 
Okay, now we're in app section, and you can turn on this don't keep activities. Okay, destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it. Right, so now we can go back to the home screen. Oh, you can see uh, Android OS has destroyed my uh, activity. Okay, but note that the process is still there. Okay, it did not kill the process. It only killed. Uh, it only destroyed the activity. Okay, let's uh, bring our activity back. And you can see it's going through the on create, on start, on resume again. All right. So now if I just going to click next. And um, so you can see the question here is dogs are loyal. And um, if I swipe up and go back to home screen, the activity is destroyed again. And if I bring this back, okay, it went through on create to on resume. And um, I'm still seeing the dogs are loyal. It didn't uh, went back to humans or mammals. Okay, so this is because I'm saving uh, saving my activity, uh, saving my uh, instance state in the view model that I created here. So yeah, that's uh, basically how you turn on the developer's options on uh, Android emulated device. And um, one thing to keep in mind is that be sure to turn down the don't keep activities uh, after you tested your application because it will cause the performance issue if it if it's still, you know, stays there for a long time. 